Varsity Center at the University of Toronto, where we're going to be meeting an amazing STEAM star and a gold medal winning Olympian, Vicky Sanahara. Woo! Hey, I'm Vicky Sanahara, and I'm the head coach of the University of Toronto women's hockey team. So we wanted to start off with doing just a little game, and we're going to ask you to describe your job in a 10-word sentence. 10 words. 30 seconds. Head coach, women's ice hockey at the University of Toronto. Oh, perfect. Exclamation With mark. <laughs> now I'm going to ask you if you can describe what you do in that job. It can't be 10 words or less because there's so <laughs> many things. <laughs> I'm responsible for our women's hockey team on and off the ice, uh, practices, games, training working together with our assistant coach, our goalie coach, and so we can provide what we think is the best, uh, the best training possible so we can be successful. Um, off the ice, I work with our head therapist, our strength and conditioning coach, our nutritionist, um, alumni relations, community outreach, working with young uh, minor hockey teams. It's a lot of things that you're in charge of, a, a large team, lots of stuff to manage. It's very impressive. Yeah. And it sounds like a lot of different kinds of science that are represented there. I hear medicine, nutrition, mm. exercise, physiology, technology. Yeah, science is in everything that we do. It sure is. <laughs> so how has the game changed over the course of your career? The game has changed uh, quite a lot. There's so many girls playing these days. It is amazing, but um, I'm really happy that I played when I did because I don't know if I would have made the team nowadays. There is not players. They're so great. They're practice. They're skating so well. Their skill development is just it's just increased, and I think that science has a lot to do with that because science is teaching us where we can be better in so many aspects of the game. So, we both love hockey, it's our favorite sport, we've loved it since we were little kids. We're wondering how you got interested in hockey. Well, when I, I first had my dad introduce me to hockey, he loved it. He introduced when I was probably about one and a half. Uh, I think that my first words speaking were shoot and score. So, yeah, I, I loved it. And um, unfortunately, my, my father passed away when I was seven and he was my coach at that time. I played, he got me registered into a boys league. Um, but all of my memories, I think, growing up, um, I, I, until he probably passed away, were all about hockey. He made the rink, he built the rink at our uh, public school in my backyard. So whether it was flooding the rink at, our, at the school, in my backyard, or playing down in, the, in our basement, it was all, you know, all my memories are hockey. And it's amazing. Things haven't changed a whole yeah. lot. <laughs> okay, so as proof that we actually are super excited to meet Vicky, this is a hockey card that we got when we were, what, 12? <laughs> have you seen this one? I sure have. I've been made fun of many times Why? for that. This is great. My hair was a little bit. It looks amazing. Time. It looks amazing. amazing. <laughs> By this point, we, I feel like, got to know you pretty well, at least we should have. So we're going to play something called Two Truths and One Lie. That's right. You're going to tell us three statements about yourself. Okay. We're going to guess which one is the lie. Okay. Um... I am a... Oh, this is a tough one. I have... Only been on Netflix once. Oh. I am a great cook. <laughs> and I am very much interested in space travel. Ooh. Oh, I, I think you would be a good cook because you probably traveled a lot for sports and have to feed yourself. And but then again, because a very busy person, I would believe the uh, only been on Netflix once. Yeah. Ooh. This is a tough one. I'm gonna go with the Netflix one. You're okay, gonna go yeah, with the Netflix yeah. one? Is that the lie? Is that the lie? No, I can't cook <laughs> at all. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Vicky. This has Thank been amazing. You. Thanks for having so me. I'll probably give your medals back at some point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna pocket that. <laughs> My advice 
uh, to young people today would be to really get outside your comfort zone and to try things that you've never done before. Uh, I don't think that you ever know what your full potential is unless you try. And it's a little bit scary getting outside your comfort zone, but so many opportunities are out there. You just have to give yourself a chance. I'm a terrible, <laughs> terrible cook. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe some new hobby. New hobby. Yeah, well, my, my poor kids, they think Pillsbury cookies are homemade.